And I have with me today, David Irvin, who is the founder of MadeSafe. Yeah, founder and uh, team member. Tell me, what is MadeSafe? The idea behind MadeSafe was decentralize the internet. And what that means, decentralized internet, is almost like what Bitcoin did for money or is doing for money. Decentralizing something like that, to me, means take out all the rubbish in the middle, the parts that you don't need, so parts of the financial system that were complex. Bitcoin was able to remove that. So MadeSafe looked at the at the internet and said, this is, this is quite strange because if I'm going to speak to you, I'm going through just now like Skype or something, Microsoft servers, why, why, why should I ask Microsoft if I can speak to you and why are they allowed to cut this call off or, or give content to some other agency? If I want to speak to someone, I should speak directly to them across the internet. And we realized that everybody's computer's connected and everybody's computer has got an, a lot of resources. If those resources can all be collected together and form some sort of cyber brain, if you like, then we could all use that cyber brain to communicate with each other. The mechanism for that is that us as a human have put a piece of software on our computer. That computer joins the network. It proves it's got a resource that's valuable to the network. We can then take a certificate from that resource and join the network as a human. The network itself then stores our data, makes sure our data is safe, allows us to share it with our friends and complete privacy and allows us to communicate. So it's a trustless system. Completely trustless. And that, that's one of the strange parts of the, the MadeSafe project because we're a company, MadeSafe is a company, and we've taken eight years. We've created this system. There's a, there's a huge amount of work. Eight years? Eight years, yeah. 2006, 22nd of February 2006, some of my friends started giving me cash to make this happen. What inspired you to do this? Because eight years ago, we didn't have all this Snowden revelations. I don't even think we really had anything from like Thomas Drake and others. Nope. You know, none of this NSA business or GCHQ or whoever. Uh-huh. Uh, what what inspired you then? I was actually away and uh, working away as a consultant in IT and network design and whatnot. And design probably one of the largest private networks in the world. I then came back to Scotland thinking that people here should be getting that same level of attention and realized that the servers I was getting people to put into into businesses were terrible versions of software. And it just seemed like something's wrong here. Why is this so difficult? And at that point, I actually created a, a system called eBoxit, which was a standalone server and thought, well, this is better. People can use this. But I couldn't couldn't really get capital for it at the time. It was a hardware solution. And at that time, I thought, well, if everyone's got a server, why don't they back each other's data up? You know, why, why have tapes? I could have some of your data. You could have some of mine. And, and I thought, well, if that was done in a way where I didn't have to know you, where it was completely decentralized, then the ideas just came out. That was about 1996, 97, when we started really looking at this. And from 2002 to about 2006, I took time out. I spent much more time in a lifeboat and delivering yachts about the place and being out at sea. So really, that was that was it. Go back to the drawing board and I, I told people about these ideas and knocked together a demo in Python. When I got investment from the friends and family, I, I went away to a place called Brno. It's the second city in the Czech Republic, and they speak no English there at all. I spent eight months actually focused on designing a completely decentralized internet, and that's that's really where it started. And interestingly enough, one of the first things that went into this decentralized internet was a cryptocurrency, and that, that was all written up in 2006. When I seen the Bitcoin paper in 2009, I thought, well, it's not really decentralized. It's doing something, but there's data here. There's a big block of data, the blockchain. That's not really decentralized. It's just copied and distributed. So I, I sort of wrote it off a little bit, I must say, but I thought it would be great, you know, if something like that worked. And, and now it has worked. It's great because Bitcoin broke the water for us. We have this vision of privacy, security, and freedom for all of the people of the world. And we don't care if it's us that does it. We are here. We'll try our hardest to make it happen. And it looks like we could have have some great success soon. 